I'm Steve Sprasian with this Web Extra. You've heard Tom Ernsting's story, but he's just one of many victims. If you look up the name Scotty Slagle, you'll find scores of posts on Facebook and Instagram of the ex-Marine from North Carolina. Slagle is another victim of these romance scammers, and they aren't just using his name, they're also using the names of his kids to perpetrate their schemes. Some who've fallen prey to Slagle's online fake persona have paid scammers more than $25,000. Go on Facebook and look up the name Scotty Slagle. You're going to find scores of profiles with that name, all of them using the same photo. That's because the ex-Marine has had his online pictures stolen by romance scammers. It is not him. Are they using your name as well as your photo or just your photo or what? Uh, do you, like they're using my name, my photo, my kids' names. It's not just on Facebook. Robert sent me a screenshot of this Instagram profile using his name and military background to trick the lovelorn. And it's not the only profile out there. I mean, I started getting uh, getting DMs of people uh, just kind of a little bit. Some of them are hatred. Some of them are just letting me know that people, multiple people are using my photos. Romance scams um, are a big business for scammers. In the U.S. and Canada in the past three years, uh, victims have reported losing nearly a billion dollars. One victim of the fake Scotty lost thousands to the scammer. There was a lady from uh, Korea. I guess she had fallen in love with my pictures. She sent like 25 grand to this person. The woman tracked him down using a reverse image search. There's lots of them, like this one, online. All you have to do is upload the photo in question, and it'll show you where on the web it's found. Sometimes they're not after your money, but rather something else that you have, right? Yeah, so, you know, it's not always money with these romance scammers. Sometimes it could be your credit card information, uh, your personal information, your social security number, any government ID numbers. Other red flags? Be wary of somebody who never wants to meet in person. Relentless messaging to keep the conversation going. Efforts to develop a relationship too quickly. And, of course, requests for money.